another video. In today's video, we are going to be making a XP farm with a like with just basic blocks, but we're probably going to be using different types of stone because it makes it look fancier, but it doesn't make it look like we put too much effort in, you know. Last episode, we went to the Nether and we built the aquarium for Benny the fish. We didn't really do much in the Nether. But using glowstone we're able to really fancy up the place and we've now put the wither skull we got last episode on the end. Which I'm hoping you can break again. Wait, can you? Yeah, you can. Um, so we have the wither skull on the end, which is quite nice. This place is looking pretty fancy, if you know what I'm saying. But I feel like this episode we're going to be trying to actually get do something that will be useful. Because an aquarium's pretty, but it's not that useful. So we're going to be building out here. We're going to be building out a whole bunch with this dirt that I got from the last couple of episodes. When I did the terraforming. Which I'll link now. Just like I will have linked the aquarium episode where, when, like, you know, when I said about it. So I'm going to build out here. I'm going to build out a platform. I'll see you once I've done that. Hey guys, I just began building and I see a fish down there. And it looks really pretty, so I want it. <laughs> I will claim that fish to be mine. Okay, guys, so I got the fish. Um, he's called the Emperor Red Snapper. So I'm thinking we're going to call him the Emperor of the Aquarium. Because, you know, I think it's quite suiting. Go join Benny. Oh look. I'm honestly worried about the size, though. It looks like the Emperor could be a predatory fish in comparison to Benny. But look, they're playing together. This is so cute. And Benny just left. Apparently Benny's too cool for him, but, you know, this place is looking pretty fancy. I think it's going pretty well. So, I'm going to continue building this mud area. It's not a game, it's a red skin. Okay guys, I've just spent like 25 minutes generally terraforming the area, but honestly, now that we've done this much, this small area over here, oh, I, feel I'll be, I feel like it's kind of bad for us to just leave it. So I'm going to finish off that area, I'm going to make everything flat, I'll see you once I've done that, and then we'll build the XP farm. I'll see you then. Okay guys, it's been another 10 minutes and I've been able to deal with that entire area, but I haven't lit it up yet, so I've put, I've got some charcoal. And I'm going to light up the entire area tomorrow morning. Then we're going to finally build this mob spawner. After me spending 40 minutes here. But probably we're in like 2 minutes of the video or something like that. So 
I'll see you once I've lit up the entire area and all that's ready. Okay guys, I've done some mining and I've done some smelting. Which means I've got this nice amount of stone bricks and I've got some stone in there on the go. The plan is we're going to start off the build um, of this auto XP machine. I think I might not be getting diamonds today since I've already spent a lot of time preparing for this auto machine and I don't know. I guess I don't think it's worth it to continue. But, stone bricks, they look quite pretty. I think I might make the entire thing out of it. Because all I have to do, you, do is use stone. Anyway, you want to have it at eye height, where you can cut in, obviously. So, I'm going to be having half slabs across here. Except from at the front. You have to have the half slab one higher, because it's a chest. So, you know. Where is the... Oh, yeah. Half slabs, you have to use this, like that. And then we're gonna have to create two sets of half slabs, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna be running you through how to create the um, mechanism, you know, the XP machine. Um, if you want it to be an XP machine, you don't want it to be that high. Meanwhile, if you want it just to be a monster spawner, you can do it higher. So see, like here, yep, make sure it's the right height so you can cut the guys when they come through, eventually. And this needs to be here. Okay, like that. Great. You don't need any unnecessary blocks because, honestly, uh, I can't really waste anything right now. So, this needs to be here. Then you just need to keep building up. Um, build up to however high you want it to be. If you want it to be not an XP farm, so you can't kill the mobs. Just build it way higher, so it'll just slowly generate um, the materials that mobs drop, like gunpowder or whatever. But otherwise, you build it shorter, so they don't die from the fall. Uh, and um, you're going to need a lot of building blocks, but other than that, it's really easy to make. You need some water, but like it's, it's a really simple design. I think I'm probably going to not do mine that tall. As I don't really want it to overshadow anything. So I feel like this kind of height will be good. Plus I don't really want to waste blocks either. Be plain with you. Oh, I might need corner blocks along. Ah, nah. It'll be fine. Oh, and I just fell off. Well. Okay guys, now that I have completed this area, we're going to have to put water along there so they all sl slide okay down. Guys. So I've just got all of my materials ready. We this should be enough materials. Yeah, it takes quite a lot of materials to make one of these things, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, I've also set up an infinite water source right there. It's going to be very useful. So we're going to be putting water along all the sides now so it all travels down into where we want it to be. So we just have to put one at the end there, and one at the end there. 
This means that when the mobs walk into there, they'll be pushed across, and they'll all be condensed down in that area down there. And then, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to build a tower either side of the here, which is gonna be the monster spawning platform, okay? Anyway, right now it's obvious that I don't have enough of these stone bricks, so I'm going to build some more and I'll be back. They'll spawn, they'll go into the wall, and they'll be brought across. It's just a long process. Honestly, though, I think all the mobs down below may have um, made sure that we can't actually. Um, that there's not too many entities for this to spawn. So, you know how I'm gonna deal with this problem? I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight like a real person. Like a real man. Sorry, for me, sir. But like a real, like a real human being. Let's go this battle, flaring and ready. Ah! Skeleton stalking. Oh. Well, I tried, guys. See you guys next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.